So we're here at the eFix live feed and we're joined with my energy's Dr. Chris Horn. Good to see you, hi. Welcome. Good hi. to have you with us. What we're concerned about today is actually the amendment one of the 18th edition Warren regulations up for public consultation at the moment. So what actually are we looking at, Joe? Which part of the regulations are we concerned with? We're looking at section 722, regulation 722.411.4.1, which relates to what? It's the installation of electric vehicle charge points on PME systems. Fantastic. And of course, we know that there's been some changes to that. Now, the original indent, Indent 3 allowed for a certain type of protection, and we know that My Energy's Zappi product, which you can see just behind me here, meets that requirement really, really well, and it is a fantastic bit of kit. However, in the new proposed amendment, in the public draft of that, there is a change to that. So what change is being proposed at this point? So the proposal at the moment is that charge points can just look at the voltage between line and neutral mm -hmm. and if that goes outside a certain tolerance then they should isolate the supply to the vehicle mm -hmm. so that's the very simple terms what the change is going to be so indent 3 has been scrapped effectively it's been reworded, reworded. Changed, so re reworded indent 3 and indent yep. 4 has been added for single phase electric vehicle charge points right okay, okay. now how do you feel about indent 4 <laughs> <laughs> very very concerned yeah um, okay. so this idea of having uh, voltage only measurement inside the charge point or inside any protection from a PME system has been referred to as the unicorn device for many, many, many years because it's often looked for and nobody's ever seen it. Uh, and now we're going to have a change that says, well, actually, we found the unicorn. And what we've got here is a, a piece of kit that tries to demonstrate why we think that's not a great idea. OK, so in a moment, we're going to run an experiment where we have a simulation of what's going on in both the distribution system around installations uh, and also inside the, the bit property as well and we're going to see a potential disadvantage to that requirement of indent 4 and why it might present one or two dangers yeah i'd, uh, I'd, I'd go a bit stronger than just a disadvantage okay <laughs> Fun fundamentally we don't think it's safe okay. okay so it's out for consultation we've got to debate it we've got to understand it uh, but we'd like to show why we we take that view. We don't think it's safe. And moment. I think it's only fair if you think it isn't correct. Then you prove to us what your theory is, and let's see if we we can back that story up. Okay, okay. right, good. We'll, we'll bring the camera in. We'll have a look. So we've got the kit in front of us. Then, Chris, can you just explain what's going on here for us? Okay, so what we're doing here is simulating your three-phase distribution system from your supply transformer to your property. So we're talking about the cable in the road yep. that's three phase going off maybe to single or three phase installations as it goes up the road. Yeah, exactly so. So this box here contains some resistors which is representing the load on that distribution cable between the transformer and the property you're, where you're working. Okay. okay. Now, under normal circumstances where your PME connector, your pen connector is, is intact, yep that's holding your neutral and earth close to true earth right. at the property. Okay? okay. And that's what we're looking at here. So down here at the bottom, this is your voltage between neutral and true earth. That's correct, yeah. Okay. And the other two, three meters here, they're showing the voltages on the other phases okay. to neutral. Brilliant. Okay. So again, if we think about this maybe in a domestic setting, this might be uh, house number one in the street, your house number two, house number three and again, the touch voltage between neutral and earth at the bottom. That's right, exactly. And with it floating around at one, one and a half yeah. volts, there's no issues at all. No, it's yeah, completely it's quite safe. normal. Yeah, it? exactly. Now, what I can do now by turning this switch is I, I start putting some imbalance into that load okay. on the distribution system. So maybe we've got some houses that are heavily loaded, mm -hmm. some aren't so heavily loaded. Um, and with the neutral intact, you see very little difference at the voltage of property. So as we're looking at the L1, L2 and L3, the voltages have hardly changed and, and we've got a very small change in the actual voltage within the neutral itself. That's very normal. Yeah, that's fine. Now, what happens if we break that pen conductor, the fault condition we're trying to protect against? Okay. So if I just break that, that conductor. So we're saying now the protective earth neutral yeah. has been broken somewhere along its run. Yes. Okay, and we've now seen some really big changes, haven't we, Joe? Okay. Yeah. So, so you're, what you've got is some unbalance in the connections out on that distribution cable still between the brake and your property. Yeah. But the impact is, is quite dramatic. So you can see that two of your phases mm -hmm. they've dropped a bit but they're yep. still well within spec you wouldn't yep. really notice that if you put your voltmeter on it you'd be quite happy yeah. uh, if you're working on house three mm -hmm. i'd be a bit concerned at it's this gone point a little higher, hasn't it, it, it has yeah so that's a problem there but mm -hmm. might not trip any anything in the house but yep. uh, might cause some issues to some electronic equipment maybe or led lighting that, we're, we're approaching what 200 uh, 290 and, volts yeah, yeah. 290 volts uh, and then the 
the, the meter at the bottom, this is your, your touch potential between, right. your, now in the house, between exposed metalwork and, yeah. and the true earth. And that's approaching, Joe? That's approaching 50 volts, it's at 46. So again, just, so just to reiterate, this is a very normal situation. You've got several properties out in the street represented here. Those properties are all drawing different amounts of current leading to an imbalanced load. And the, the problem is, is that we've now lost the protective earth and neutral that's conductor. Correct. So yeah. that's, that's the issue that's happened here. And it's led to this situation in any properties that have occurred after that neutral break. Exactly. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah. So, well, not fantastic. Well, we <laughs> I mean, we're already it. getting very close to the 50 volts uh, maximum that we're allowed for, for touch voltage anyway under most circumstances in installation. But would you just reiterate to me what the touch voltage is really when we're talking about car charging news? Is it the 50 or is it the 70 that's been quoted everywhere? Right, well, there's two things to bear in mind. One is, because you've broken the pen conductor, your normal RCD protection won't work. Right. You don't get the imbalanced current through your RCD. So there's nothing protecting your circuit now. Okay. So this is why it's dangerous. And the, the standard, uh, the 18th edition, requires that if the neutral voltage, this voltage here goes mm -hmm. above 70 volts mm -hmm. yeah. for somewhere between four and five seconds, not, let, yeah, not more than four, not, less, not more than five, not less than four, mm -hmm. then you should trip. So you can see there's a situation where this could be exposed here, we've not reached the 70 volts, nothing's gonna happen, it will just sit there like this forever, yeah. okay? Now, if we put some more imbalance on the system, so now it's one of those phases a bit, uh, even light, lighter loaded, this third phase has got quite yeah. high, yeah, okay? A bit worrying, volts. this would yep. be causing some problems. These two phases are still reasonably well within tolerance. 216 yeah. is minus 6% on uh, 230, if math, math yep. works yep. correctly. There it is. Um, and we're approaching that 70 volts. So this is going to tingle quite a lot yeah. if you put your hand on that. Probably like a bit that worse. tingle quite a lot. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it, it it's not avoid that. Mm. Um, and then if, if we put a bit more imbalance on the system, we get to the point where yeah. we're well above the 70 volts where a, re a reference using an earth rod, a voltage protection using earth rod would trip. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, but a voltage only measurement based on the proposals in ident 4, right. won't take you off. So just, yeah, let's clear that up. So yeah. we're saying under the conditions where we've got an earth electrode installed correctly on our car charging port, we expect it to disconnect and it will disconnect. And that's on a TT protected charger, which uh, is the, 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 the way, way traditionally we would have done Absolutely. This. However, you're telling me in amendment one that we're now only concerned possibly with a protective measure that looks at voltage. Yeah. And you're telling me that they would or wouldn't operate at that stage? They wouldn't operate. That so, place. so we've actually we're in a situation where we've we've met the requirements of indent four. And yes. And remember, at this stage, this is all proposed. Yeah. So this has not gone into the regulations yet. But we've met the requirements for uh, for amendment one yep. indent four of that regulation, whereby we are monitoring the voltage difference. Yes. That device is not seeing a problem here. No. However, we've gone above the seventy volts. Uh, between neutral and earth, and if someone was washing their car and this occurred, yeah, I mean, the, 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 the worst case, you know, you've got a grandchild helping you wash your nice new electric car, there's water all over the place, you haven't unplugged it, and I'm sure, you know, you should unplug it when yeah. you're washing your car, but loads of people leave it plugged in, and there's a fault. I wouldn't want to be the one that did the investigation. Wow. Oh, no. No, that's rather sobering, isn't it? Yeah. So I think as we develop this video on then, so if we go on and look at the Zappy 2, yeah. okay, uh, you believe that you can show us how that will solve this problem because we're not looking at the voltages, no. we're looking at a way of disconnecting in a different way. Exactly, yeah. Okay, let's do that next. So we've simulated the fault, the very realistic fault that we discussed earlier on in the video. And what we've seen is that under Amendment 1 to BS 7671, a device installed that meets the requirements of that regulation would not trip in the circumstances that we've outlined That's here, great. which is very, very realistic. But what we're gonna look at now is how the Zappi 2 actually will clear that fault. So how are we gonna make this actually clear that fault there, Chris? Right, okay, so what we've got now is, uh, this is the voltage that from the neutral to true earth, this is, or, or from exposed metalwork to true earth. Mm -hmm. So here I've got, uh, a meter that will measure the current flowing through that mm -hmm. fault path. Okay. And, and in this box, I'm simulating the person who's washing their car. Okay. Okay. So I've got a resistor here, which I can just adjust to change the resistance yeah. between that person and ground, right. depending so on how wet they are, basically. How wet they are, the yeah, 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 proportions, etc. Okay. And, and we'll connect to And we'll look at the, how, how much current's flowing in yeah. that case. Uh, so the first thing I need to do is plug the, the vehicle charger in. So okay. this is Zappy. Yep. And here, this box, as well as having voltmeters, simulates your vehicle. Okay. So I plug it in, uh, start the charge. So Zappi's now turning on the output. You hear the clunking and it's yep. charging. Uh, and there's 
this is now live at this point, yep. charging the car, and this metalwork here you could pretend is the exposed metalwork okay. of the vehicle. Okay. And the way we've got it set up right now, we're under kind of healthy conditions. That's right. The, we've not lost the, the pen conductor yep. is intact. Okay. Okay. So let's uh, uh, inc put the pen conductor fault on. Okay. okay. And so we can see got, as we had so before. Just to confirm, we've got a broken pen conductor yep. now. Correct. In yep. this situation. Yep. Okay. Absolutely. Uh, so there's about 80 volts on that neutral, which means that the exposed metalwork of the car is sitting at 80 volts. Okay, okay. okay. so the car <laughs> itself is at 80 volts, yeah, yeah. At 80 volts, yeah. <laughs> if it was a car, you'd call it, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, but you've got one phase that's gone very high. The new uh, voltage trip would take that phase out. If you're yep. connected to that one, you'd trip. So, just, so that's at 324 volts. Yes. Under the amendment one, that would operate the device. Mm -hmm. Correct, exactly. What if I was online? L1 and L2. No, it wouldn't detect it. They still got the same fault. Exactly. So yeah. there's still 80 volts between neutral and earth. Yes. Mm -hmm. In these yep. two installations, yep. it won't trip. And potentially between the bodywork of your car. Yeah. True earth. True earth. Yep. True earth. <laughs> yeah, which is now. Yeah. Terrifying. Yeah. Oh, right. So hope for a bit of luck then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, and this is why we developed a device that would make it safe mm. in every single circumstance. Not after four seconds, not after five seconds or whatever. Okay. This basically says if there's a fault current flowing through this path, through your person washing the car yep. or whatever it is, then we'll trip and make it safe. So when you say trip, we're going to operate an RCD built into the device? It, it's sort of equivalent, if you think about it like an RCD, it's not an RCD. It's, it's a different measurement of fault currents yeah, okay. flowing through this path and then it will completely isolate your vehicle, your live in neutral, your pilot earth, all those connections will be disconnected and isolated. And that's when we opened it up, that's yeah. why there wasn't an RCD in there because it yeah. was the electronic components that were disconnected in exactly. the circuit. Absolutely yeah, so good. You saw those so, current transformers, yeah, did, that's yeah. part of the yeah. measurement. Okay. Okay. Cool. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to pretend I'm the grandchild cleaning car. Okay. okay? Uh, and I'm getting pretty wet, and you'll see the current going up. So nine, mm. ten. So resistance 12. is dropping. Yeah, exactly. Current is and at the point here, 18 milliamps. So we've set the threshold quite tight, or very tight in this. Right. Yeah. And and Zap is tripped. Okay. You can see it's given us a message there to saying that, the, that there's a pen fault, wow. uh, and that was at 18 milliamps after you know just a few hundred milliseconds. Yeah. It follows an RCD characteristic. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, but it's being used in a very different way. So before sufficient current could flow through a person yeah. in order to cause a lethal shock, we've obviously disconnected that supply safely, and whoever was washing the car under that, that very you? very realistic simulation, that yeah. very realistic situation is not going to be harmed. That's right. And what I'd like to do is, just, if I just reset the zapping, so that was me effectively uh, increasing the fault current to show where it trips. Yes. What you really want to do is simulate a person touching the car as the fault occurred. Okay, yeah. so I've, right. I've, this, is, this is me cleaning the car. Yeah. Zap is charging. This is me in my wet sponge, touching the car, wow. and it trips as soon as I touch the car. Wow. So okay. I, I'm safe. Yeah. I probably didn't even notice it. Yeah. Just the car's not, it's got Certainly normal. not yeah. charging anymore. Wow. But that's absolutely safe. That's really impressive. But if you look along your road, yeah. <laughs> uh, the, every other house, yeah, yeah there might well, be an issue. Yeah, okay. Okay. Sometimes, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Oh, right, okay. So that I think that clearly demonstrates the, the technology yeah. within the Zappy Two that we've looked at previously. Yeah, very much so, and also emphasizes how safe this device is in terms of keeping people safe under that realistic pulp situation. Okay, Chris, thank you okay. ever so much for showing us. Well, That's a very, very good okay, way of seeing okay, yeah, the, the issues much. that we may have with Amendment One. Thank you. Okay.